So what? So I love I love marketplaces and I love auctions. I love auctions because there's a time component to it, yeah. and that urgency makes you buy more. And what I think is even better, and so for heritage auctions, I think roughly half of their sales of their eight hundred million dollar sales are online, and the other half are in person. You want to know another in person auction that's doing wonderfully? Which one? Barrett Jackson. Have you heard of Barrett Jackson? No. What is so that? Barrett Jackson is based in Arizona, bootstrapped, owned by one guy. Um, is that his name? Barrett. Uh, Maybe. Barrett, Barrett is dead. Jackson is alive. Okay. Or it could be the other way around. One of them is dead. Um, but what they do is they actually have a they they put this on TV all the time. I watch it all the time. Um, what they do is sell cars, so classic cars. Right. Not all classic cars, but just like rare or like interesting cars. You could buy like a ten thousand dollar car there, but so they'll have a car on and they'll say, like, this Ferrari, there was only five hundred of them. This it sells for two hundred thousand dollars and they show it and you're like, Oh, awesome. That sale just happened right. in three minutes. That was great. And so they'll they do, I believe, sixty eight shows a year and they make hundreds of millions of dollars uh in revenue. Yeah. It's a huge business and I love that. And so another one is Bring a Trailer. They do cars as well. And the guy who started Bring a Trailer also started Mailbox, uh, Gentry Underwood. So he's like a, which he sold to Dropbox. Right. And so I like these auction places. And uh, first of all, I like niche auctions. So I like watches, anything that's niche. But tell, but what do you, what is another? And I have one an idea. Idea. What's a current marketplace that's very ill liquid, and hard to sell, and you wish that it could go away faster. Hmm. Uh, houses is one luxury house okay. which they put on here because it takes a while to sell a house um, in general, and so Open Door is trying to make that instant uh, as a market as a uh, a real estate company, not a, not as much as an auction. Um, I have a friend who did this with sneakers. He, uh, he people are doing that now. I think it's working well. He, he did it as a ninety minute auction, so he would say the sneaker goes live. It's ninety minutes, and we're going to get you your guaranteed price. Um, uh, or we, they basically offer the seller. They're like, we will buy it at this price if the auction doesn't go higher. So if you agree to that, you start the process and it's 90 minutes. What else? Um, I don't know. What else you got? Small businesses. Okay. Just flip my business. <laughs> and this is a, maybe would just fall flat. This is one of those. It could be amazing or it would just be horribly idea. But if I were quiet, like brokerage who sponsors this, or if I were another brokerage, I would 100% have an event and try to gather a thousand people and we are, we're going to auction off these right. businesses. Uh, my idea from yesterday, the first dibs where you're auctioning future, the future first, uh, future first, whatever you're going to create. I think that would work really well with this um, as well. But businesses, the hard part is you have, um, there's so many the, hard parts about it. There's a lot of hard parts, but one is just the diligence, right? So like when I buy the, um, the movie poster or whatever, if it has sort of the certification and the, the person who's you know selling it sort of says, this is authentic. Um, I don't need to look too much more into it. Whereas with a business, you really have to sort of understand all these different components. I think that's hard. I agree. It's hard, but I think it's interesting right. because like if someone just like, if I knew Shopify apps or something and there was this gathering and they're just auctioning off a shit ton of them and it's kind of like a storage war where it's like, which you're not sure right. what you're going to get, but let's just find out. Like it could be fun to gamble tens of thousands of dollars. Yeah. Just storage units. That would be interesting, <laughs> like a mystery box, basically that you're oh, buying. Oh, well, fuck yeah! Actually, Th that would Storage. be really <laughs> that, that would be really fun and uh, and interesting. It, it, it'd have to be cheap enough. That's interesting. Is someone doing store storage unit like S blind auctions? Yeah, yeah. Surely they have to be, right? I don't know, but you could tie some of these ideas together, right? So, like what HQ showed, where they did basically a, they took a traditional TV show and turned it into a live streaming mobile app. Um, where the game shows on on your phone. This is the future of TV. Like you can do a QVC or I don't know what show you talked about. You watched the auctions on, but like, you well, that's Barrett Jackson. But there's another one called. You um, can turn these into mobile live streamed shows, and you can essentially sell these all through through. Um, you know, you could take. So one way to look at Antiques this is, Roadshow. That's what I was thinking about. Right. So one way to look at this is you you start selling some item that's not currently sold on these auction places. Might be hard because a lot of time has passed and sort of like. You know, the law of supply demand has pulled things that want to be sold this way into the market, but maybe you can find a new niche or you just take the existing platforms and you make them smaller, more lightweight and mobile focused. You just win that way. And so, like, I don't know if you, do you know Top Hatter. Uh, yeah. What are they? Do? Top Hatter, incredible company. It's Wish. So it's a mobile app where you see a bunch of really cheap stuff from China. Uh, random stuff. It can be like a back brace and a ring and a, um, you know, whatever, a poster, a, dollar, a shoe. Dollar store crap. Dollar store. Well, it's like the it's like the wish crap, which is like 
random electronics and memorabilia like laser and pointer. items. Yeah, laser pointers and class rings and like, you know, whatever. Um, but what they do is, which is interesting, is it's a... Um, they, the item starts, so you open up the app and you see all these things and like you've never seen your adrenaline spike like this in a mobile app before. All the prices are starting at like whatever, $50 and they just start dropping. And then somebody just hits buy and then they buy it. And so you kind of want to wait to get it lower, but you don't want to wait too long because somebody this? else is going to buy it. So Top Hatter is a startup here in San Francisco and they do hundreds of millions of dollars of revenue. Very good, very interesting business. I don't know how profitable it is, how sticky it is, blah, blah, blah. But when you go into the app, it's like a, it's like being in like this high stakes Chinese market. Is it like those dollar auction, like those penny auction things? It's those are bit, all like fucking scams. It's a little scams. bit like that, but they, but you don't have to buy credits and stuff like that. It's more like Wish, but instead of but the, what they tap into is instead of browsing and picking, they pick they they like inject into your FOMO, you know, part of your brain, and so you're like, okay, this item, do I want it? Do I want it for six bucks, five bucks, four bucks, three? I'll take it, and you end up buying a whole bunch of shit. And uh, it's just a bunch of moms who are bored at home that are just shopping on this thing. And they feel like, hey, we're getting tons of value. But, like, this is stuff you didn't even know you wanted. You don't even want. It's just shit. It's just shit. And I'm going to download it and buy some stuff. I yeah. buy shit all the time. Top Hatter's cool. Um, 